Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez and today's video is a good old fashioned behind the scenes video where I show you guys an inside look into not just one, but a couple of photo shoots that I did using the new Sony a7R 4 while I was over there in Sun River, Oregon for the Sony Kando 3.0 trip. If you guys are not familiar with what that is, the Sony Kando trip, it's basically just an annual event that Sony created back in 2017 where they just basically invite a lot of content creators, not just people who shoot Sony, but a lot of content creators to go and do that, to create content, amazing photos and videos, and they give you a lot of awesome opportunities to do so, and it's always a lot of fun. The first one back in 2017 was only open to artisans and collectives, and I had just become a collective, so I was very fortunate to attend that event. The ones after that in 2018 last year, and this year in 2019 were open to anybody. I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit expensive, but I still think it's highly worth it to go to one of these events because there's so much opportunity to do various different things. You can network for a lot of big names in the photo industry. You can learn from them with the hands-on classes that they offer. You can rent some of the latest Sony gear. Like this year, they let you use the Sony a7R 4 and it just came out a couple of days ago. So a whole month earlier, you could have used the camera. For me personally, I just rent some of the lenses that I can't afford, such as the 70 to 200 G Master. I rented the 85 G Master in 2017, which led me to buy it. And this year, I actually did rent a camera. I rented the Sony a7R 4 I absolutely loved it. It made me want to buy it, which is why I bought it. You can also rent out a lot of other photo related equipment, which is exactly what I did this year when I rented the Manfrotto B-Free tripod, the Sony version. I also checked out a ND filter, a six top ND filter that was also a circular polarizer by Breakthrough Photography. And although I didn't check these out myself, I did borrow Jason Vong's LED light setup. It was the Stella Pro LEDs, which are a little bit expensive. It came with a little Octobox and a light stand but I used it on a tripod. You guys are gonna see that in the video in a second, but it was just a lot of fun. You can rent so much gear that I didn't even mention right now, and it was just insane, and you can do so much at these events that, again, I still think it's highly worth it to go. I realized at this point, this video kind of sounds like an ad for the Sony condo trip, but it, it isn't. I'd have to disclose that to you guys, otherwise I'd be breaking the law. I just can't explain this trip without being enthusiastic about it because I looked forward to it, and I was actually in a bit of a crappy mood for a couple of months this past summer, and this candle trip really, really helped. It was just amazing. I had lots of fun. I met a lot of content creators. You guys will see that in this video right now. I met Irene Rudnick, a photographer and YouTuber that I highly, highly recommend and look up to. And I also met and shot with uh, Dan and Sally Watson of Learning Cameras. I'll link their channels um, in the description area below. I met a lot of different people and I had a lot of fun. So I highly recommend it to you guys. One last thing I wanted to mention is that although I did order the Sony a7R 4 I don't think it's necessary for most people. It's not even needed for myself. It's definitely a want. I don't need 61 megapixels since I share online on social media, which is smaller resolution, but I just wanted a lot of the benefits that I'm about to let you guys know are. Although I don't do video work for clients or anything, the feature that I was really looking forward to in this camera is eye autofocus for video. This is something that is definitely gonna benefit me whenever I do intro videos like I'm doing right now. I'm filming with the Sony a7 III, which doesn't have eye autofocus. And if you've seen my videos in the past, you might've seen when I'm talking with different items around me, like a camera, for example, like this camera here, this is Samyang 35 with the a7R 3 You might've seen me bring it up to the camera like this or something, and then it focuses on the camera and then I have it like right here, somewhere next to my face, and then it just doesn't focus on my eye again. Well, I'm not gonna experience that now with the Sony a7R 4 in video whenever I do the intros. The second reason, of course, is the extra resolution that it offers, 61 megapixels compared to 42 megapixels on the a7R 3 and the a7R 2 I definitely don't need all of that extra resolution. I don't print billboard ads or ads on side of buildings but I just definitely wanted it. So I want to really emphasize that it's a want, not a need for me. Because again, I just do a lot of stuff for social media, which is very small, on small screens, on phones. And again, like I said before, I was looking for a camera that had higher resolution files. And now I have that with the Sony system with the a7R 4 So I don't have to kind of look away and get the Pentax 645Z because for one, I couldn't even justify the price of that camera. And two, it was not gonna have a lot of the features that Sony has, which I really, really enjoy. The third reason was the autofocus box that you have on the Sony cameras previous to the a7R 4 were ones that were just gray. You couldn't really see them very visibly whenever you wanted to use those focus boxes, or especially if they were really small and you had a similar color, like a gray background to see the box. You would just be hard to see it. But now with the Sony f 7 you can change it to, I believe white and red, maybe one other color, probably not 
but you can change it to those different colors, which is gonna make it a lot easier to see those focus boxes. The fourth reason that I wanted to get the A7R4 was the better grip that it offers. This is something that I experienced over there in Condo when I rented out the A7R4, and I honestly didn't expect to really enjoy the feel of the grip because I was fine with my A7R3, my A7R2 with the better grip, and my A6500. If you guys experience that it's too small, I would recommend getting a pinky grip. There's third party options out there, or there's the Sony official grips out there. So I would recommend that. But for me, I just didn't have an issue. So I didn't really think that I would want the A7R4 for the grip, but I actually really did want it for that. The fifth reason is a bit of a two part reason. And one of those reasons is the exposure dial on top of the camera. You can now lock it in place so that you don't accidentally bump it and it messes up your exposure compensation. On the Sony a7 III and the R3, whenever I would do video work for my photo shoots or whenever I actually would have Ashley do my videos, thank you, um, sometimes when I have her on auto mode and the exposure dial is not on the right mode it's supposed to be, sometimes it'll be overexposed or it'll be underexposed. So now that you can lock that, it's just overall better. The second part of this reason is actually something I can show you right now. On all of the Sony cameras that I've had up to the R4, I never really had compartments or whatever you want to call these little doors here. I never really had them. Um, I never really liked them. And they were just a little bit fl flimsy like this. I can actually open up all of them. And usually I do that on the a7 III whenever I'm attaching cables to it. But I just never liked how they were organized and they're just very flimsy like this right now. Let me see if you guys can see. Yeah, I, I just never liked this setup. So the a7R4 is just a lot neater and it feels a lot more firm and it actually has better weather resistance. So I'm gonna really appreciate that on the R4. Okay, so I know I've been talking for forever now, and I'm gonna go ahead and just skip and go into the video of, of the photo shoots. But before I do that, I just wanna thank you guys for watching so far, and I hope you guys enjoy the photos and the videos that you're about to see. And also thanks to the people that are in the video that participated in this video. I'm working on a behind the scenes video, or not behind the scenes, but a vlog for the whole Sony condo trip. So look forward to that. All right, take care guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. I was actually about to end the video, but I just remembered for something I forgot to mention. I have this Peak Design backpack is what carried my lighting setup that I used throughout the video when I wasn't shooting natural light. And I am working on a video showing you guys exactly what it consists of the lighting setup. I can tell you right now it's the 8200 Pro or the 8400 Pro with maybe a V1 inside the bag as well, a 24 by 24 inch soft box and a tripod. That's exactly what I use. If you guys are, are curious about anything that I use in the video, Definitely let me know in the comments. I'll link as much as I can about all the gear I used in the description area below. All right, now take care and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you to Irene for joining the shoot. She's not the only one, so <laughs> stay tuned for the rest of the videos so you guys can see what's going on. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on your channel. Yeah. We should do something on mine next. Okay. <laughs> I'll hold her to that. Awesome. <laughs>
got me up all night putting things on the side what do you have in mind she's awake all the time what are you trying to find i hope this ain't a lie cause i'm vibing with all we have yeah i'm feeling what we are now i'm laying down on the ground all i do is thinking out loud yeah i'm vibing with all we have i'm feeling what we are now all i do is thinking out loud cause i'm running with these emotions stumbling out of bed one hell of a roller coaster you messing with my head i'm ending up so clueless what are you trying to find i'm running with these emotions Tell me what do you I just shot with um, Sally Watson. Actually, I'll let them introduce themselves. So I'm Sally Watson. I'm Dan. They have a YouTube channel. It's very helpful. It helped me a lot. So you guys definitely need to check out their channel. I just wanted to give them a thanks for joining me on the shoot. And you too, Irene. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it. He's the best. Yeah, we're just so watching good. the master at work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We are learning from him, please. We learn from each other. I'm laying down on the ground. All I do is thinking out loud. Yeah, I'm vibing with all we have. I'm feeling what we are now. All I do is thinking out loud. Cause I'm running with these emotions. Stumbling out of bed. One hell of a roller coaster. You're messing with my head. I'm ending up so clueless. What are you trying to find? I'm running with these emotions. Tell me what to do.